Recently, K-pop TV's Becky spent time with singer-songwriter Tabit in Seoul. Tabit will be starting his U.S. tour soon. Let's join Becky now. Hi, I'm Becky, and today I have a very special guest with me. He originally started down the path of a trainee and spent a year with the group 24K before he changed direction to focus on his music and songwriting as a solo artist. He has a large following on YouTube where fans have fallen in love with his expressive and soulful voice. He is relatively new in the K-pop scene, but he has already released two music videos, Woo 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 and Zone Out, and has just released his first mini digital album. Davi will be starting his European tour in October and will be in the US at the end of this year. So let's welcome Davi! Hello, uh, everyone. <laughs> yeah. My name is Tabit. Yes, welcome to K-pop TV. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So first, we would like to know, what helped you to decide to come to Korea and pursue music? Um, well, I like to think that it was a bit of fate because, I don't know, I just felt like I was meant to do this. Mm. You know, it feels very comfortable. Um, I've always wanted to come to Korea and I always love doing music, so you know, what better thing to do what you love in the place you love, so. Okay, so yeah. well, you grew up in Ohio, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, did you visit Korea often and is what inspired you? Yeah, I oh. went every single year. Uh, mm. Since I was probably around one, I came Makes every sense. single year and I came and went. Uh, I've stayed here like one year at a time sometimes, or sometimes I would only come for like my summer break. Mm. So yeah, it was an ongoing thing. Awesome. Well, talking about your childhood, in one of your YouTube videos, you actually performed with your brother Dan, who is yeah. playing the guitar. Can you tell us more about growing up with your family um, back in America and how music was a part of your life? Well, our whole family isn't that much into music, but we were required to do like the piano oh. and... <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, I, I grew up listening to not much pop music, but more classical music. Oh. And the only way I would actually have access to pop music was to steal my brother's albums. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I think a lot of siblings uh, probably do this kind of stuff, but like I had to, you know, sneak into my brother's room when he wasn't there and like steal his Ricky Martin album or like Backstreet Boys album. And like I would sneak, yeah, I, I would listen to it in my room, or sometimes my brother would actually be like, okay, if you get me a glass of water and a snack, then I'll let you listen to this album. So I mean- Oh dear, bribing, okay. Yeah, it was, it was hard work <laughs> listening to music. <laughs> Dang it, okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think uh, given that circumstance, I really had a very passion for music, you know, and, and I had to work to get it. So yeah, that's how music life was for me. Wow. back at home. <laughs> that is, never expect a story like this of how you got into music, but very interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you only have one brother, I I have two brothers. Oh, two both brothers. older? Mm -hmm, both older. Wow, how was that growing up? <laughs> uh, um, a lot of bruises okay. and uh, yeah, a lot of, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was fun. It was fun. Now we laugh about it, but when I was young, I felt like, like the black sheep, you know. Mm. So I, I felt like I was bullied sure, and like, the and the thing is, we all did Taekwondo. So when we were angry, when my brothers were angry, let's say, we wouldn't really fight over words. They would just be like, let's go spar downstairs. <gasps> mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Wow. Okay. So very violent br brother yes. sibling. Okay. We, we were guys. So I mean. Makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Wow. All <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Super fun. Okay. So your family is still living in Ohio? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do they visit you often in Korea? No. Why? What's going on? No. Why? I have to visit them. Oh. Luckily last year, yeah. they all came to Korea for the first time Whoa. in like four or five years. That was the first time seeing all of them at once. Oh. So uh, three years ago, I visited America mm -hmm. and I had to see my brothers separately and my parents separately because they're all over the States. My parents are in Ohio. Oh. But my oldest brother is in New York, and my middle brother is in Michigan, so we're, you know, all scattered. Right, so that's very difficult mm -hmm. to yeah. get together, I mm -hmm. see. But hopefully you guys can, because you have a very awesome family, I feel like, so hopefully you can hang out either in Korea or in America together. Yeah, we, we try cute. to make that time. Good, yeah. good. So your second single called Zone Out was mm -hmm. written about hardships and getting over a breakup. Would you mind sharing about what was your thought process behind this song? For Mong Zone Out, uh, 
I when I write songs, it usually doesn't necessarily. The lyrics don't always come out from my direct life. It mm. comes out from uh, emotions. So it starts off as an emotion, and it kind of writes itself in a sense. Mm. So uh, during that time, I was at a very emotional low, I guess, mm. clearly, mm. and I was very lonely and very on and off relationships, and like nothing seemed to any relationship that I would get into. I feel like it never would kind of. Go the way that I would want. Yeah. It was it was very sure and very yeah. So I mean, during that time, I felt like uh, I needed to get that energy out sure. because you know, as musicians, I think a lot of musicians are very sensitive, and when we're sensitive, we need a good outlet. That's why we do music. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thankfully, I was able to concentrate uh, that energy into my songwriting. Wow, very cool. So is that the main thing of how you write songs then, based on your how you're feeling at that time? Yeah, and oh. it usually starts from an emotion, mm -hmm. and usually I have a habit of kind of humming while I'm in you know, the bathroom, or when I'm outside, mm -hmm. or when I'm actually seeing something that's very inspiring. Like I just always like to hum, and sometimes those melodies get stuck in my head, mm -hmm. and that's when the song actually starts to you know manifest itself Whoa. inside of me. Whoa! So, yeah. Wow! I like to be inside your brain one day. I never get those feelings, but interesting. Uh -huh. That's why you're an artist. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Mm. <laughs> so if you were to write a song for any artist, no limits, any artist around the world, okay. who would it be? Hmm. I kind of like. Even though I do a bit more musical kind of songs, I really like to listen to idol music as well mm -hmm. because they're very repetitive and like they get stuck in your head. I agree. And I, I've been into hip hop a lot. It, it's been the trend in Korea, so I've been listening to a lot of Pangtan uh, Sonyeondan, BTS, oh and they always seem to have this one sweet song in their album. Oh. And all of those sweet songs that they have sung in their album, I usually always kind of like them. So I feel like if I was able to write a song for anyone, I think I would write it for Pangtan Sonyeondan. Yeah. Yes. Wow, well I am a big fan of theirs. I hope you do one day. Yes, I oh. hope so. Oh yes, and so. then that song would be a big hit, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah yes. hopefully. Wow, <laughs> do you watch Show Me The Money? Oh, uh, like... I, I watch the clips. I watch the clips. Okay. I don't have a TV at home, oh, unfortunately. Oh, you can watch it online. Yes, so I, I, I watch them. I watch oh. reruns online mm -hmm. and I watch like the highlights. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, so my favorite on that show is Basic. So I think, uh -huh. right? do you know him? Okay, if you ever do something with Basic, like go do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's all oh, he's just so awesome. Yeah, any any uh -huh. pop artist, yeah. I feel like I would collaborate well with. You uh -huh. know, to give a kind of a twist to my yeah. music. Yeah. Okay, looking forward <laughs> to it. Yeah. So you sang many covers on your YouTube channel, and my personal favorite is the one called Gangnam Station Exit 10 oh, by Soul Story. Yeah, yes. yeah, that was yeah. If you can, can you please sing us a few lines from that song? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yes. Wow, I, I'm not sure if I remember the lyrics. Okay, uh, let me sing what I remember. So your stage name is Dhabi, which is very unique. Can you tell us where you came up with that name? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, so Dhabi is very similar to, it has a lot of connections to who I am. Uh, my Korean name is Kim Jong-uk, and Jong-uk actually means to be bright all around. And ta is a simpler term also for all light. And it actually sounds a lot like my American name as well, David. So I mean, it has a lot of connections, and even my Korean friends usually when they first called me David, mm -hmm. they would call me like Tae, uh, David or Tabit or Tabid, and like mm -hmm. it, it was those kind of quirkinesses that kind of stuck in my ear, and yeah, I just thought it'd be a cute name to use. Mm -hmm. Very cool, and definitely don't use just David since that's right? everywhere. Yeah, so I think uh, it's very unique. Such a boring I mean, name. <laughs> 
I'm but... glad you didn't use it. Dobby is very, very yes, unique. Yes. I like it. I like it too. <laughs> very <laughs> nice. So now let's move on to your acting career. Okay. So what shows and characters have you done and are you planning anything else? So um, my most recent one that I did was 나의 유감스러운 남자친구 which translates to my unfortunate boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I made a cameo in that and I got to have some speaking lines. And yeah, it, it, was, it was very random because most of my acting, I started off doing it as a supplemental thing for my music because I feel like music is also acting in a sense. Especially when you perform, you want to kind of get into that emotion and kind of be able to successfully display those emotions to the people who are listening and looking at you perform. So that's how it started and uh, I've done musicals in the past but nothing serious with uh, acting and that slowly actually turned into something I started enjoying because you know it's not every day that you get to play a different person a whole different character and that was completely refreshing for me and yeah so I mean that's how I started acting and in the future I think I want to do something not too heavy yet mm, okay. uh, maybe something light like a sitcom that something seems very, like you, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, you can see me in the sitcom, <laughs> yeah, right? Definitely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do something where like someone has cancer and has oh, to die no, so soon. No, no, nothing, no, no. Nothing sappy. <laughs> okay, nothing sappy. Something very yeah. happy and oh, very nice. light, yes. you know. Yeah, I feel like I can do a good job doing that. Yes, I think so too. Good luck with that. Thank you. Awesome. So then, are there any Korean actors or even, you know, foreign mm. actors that you would love to act with one day? Ooh, yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. I, ever since I was young, I had a huge infatuation with Park Bo Young. Oh, I love her! Yes, yes. <laughs> ever since I watched uh, Speedy Scandal, mm -hmm. yeah, she took my heart away. And uh, yeah, I actually think that our image is kind of fit pretty well. It can you know? work, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it would work pretty well. Maybe, maybe work on a sitcom with her or something, you know. Mm -hmm. But I she's like super up there now, so I mean, yeah, you need to work uh, your way up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'll have to meet uh -huh. her up there. But... Okay, but you can do it. Yeah, soon, you. soon. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so we also know that you are a radio DJ mm -hmm. for an Arirang radio show called Pray For mm -hmm. You. Yes. Can you tell us more about this show? So, uh, yes, the segment is called Pray For You and I do it with Kevin Hyung on his program Hot Beat. Mm -hmm. So it's every Wednesday, 1 a.m. in Korean time. Nice. And yeah, it's basically about you just listen to, we just listen to our viewers' uh, stories and we like to give them some advice on their, you know, problems. Oh. And on the last part, there is a 19 plus segment. What, what, is, what is that talking about? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. It's just, let's just say it's 19 plus. You know, <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it is during the nighttime, so you right, know. Right, so it's, it makes it's it for, to go to mature topics. Yes, for mature listeners. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. Well, were there any funny incidents on the show that you can talk about with us that happened? Yes, uh, there are a lot of funny <laughs> incidents. Uh, we get a lot of funny stories, and the most, one of the ones that's just uh, popping in my head was like, this was like a 90 plus. It's not too bad. It's it's it would be like uh, my coworker keeps whispering in my ear, mm. and I don't know how I feel about it. But oh. I think I'm kind of turned on or oh. something. <laughs> and oh. they're very they're, they're those kind of topics. Those kind of topics yeah. that are very you okay. know yeah. And, and they ask us for our advice, and we give them our honest opinion. Good, good. And it's it's a time where we get to kind of be ourselves and mm. kind of just open up a part of our lives that most viewers don't or listeners don't get to occasionally, you know, see in us. Mm, wow, so. very interesting. Also talking about your co-DJ Kevin, mm -hmm. who is from the boy group Zaya, correct? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, how is it like working with him? It's amazing. Uh, I learned so much from him. Uh, he's also from Australia. He's from Australia, I'm from America, cool. but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we both grew up in foreign countries and yeah, it's just, he has so much professionalism and he's so kind that I still feel like a noob when I'm around him. Mm. And he teaches me a lot and yeah, like it's, it's, he's just a great sambe and I always learn a lot from him and still have a lot too. But yeah, it's always an honor to work with him. 
Okay, so now after getting to know you, we're gonna play a short little game mm. that I have no name for it, but I'm just gonna give you one question. One question. All right, and it kind of relates to you, yet not really. But this one question, okay? okay. If you get it right, uh -huh. I have to do a punishment, which you know you can choose whatever punishment you want to uh -huh. give me. But if you get it wrong, then you have to do whatever punishment I give you. Uh -huh. All right? Are you ready, Dabi? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here is your trivia question. Who in the K-music scene is also from Ohio? From Ohio? Yes! Wait, 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 wait. You have it, some time, there's no time Okay, 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 so... Yeah, mm-hmm. Is it, is it an idol or non-idol? Can you give me that clue? Come on, this is very broad, you know? Okay, it's, it's... okay, fine. He's definitely in K-music. Uh -huh. He's in a popular band, I'll give you that. And he's from Ohio. Oh. I think that is more than enough. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. I, I think... You only get one chance, by the way. So... <laughs> Give me some time. Okay. Okay. I believe I heard someone from Busca Busca is from Ohio. You have to give me only one answer and his name, please. And his name? Wait, wait, okay. Ah, uh, the... Foreigner. Is his name Brett? Brett? Is that Brett? your final answer? Brett, right? Yeah, I think that's my final answer. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes! <laughs> what are the chances of that happening? I really mm -hmm. thought you were getting it wrong. How mm -hmm. did you find that out? It's cause, what did you find out? It's because my good friend is actually friends with him. Oh, oh. He's friends with him. Oh. And yeah, I, I I remember it. Oh my gosh, thank God it came to me because I, I heard this like three, four years ago. And mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I heard someone, one of the members was actually from Ohio. But that was just in passing. Oh. And you just reminded me, so thank so, you. I gave you too many hints. That is not fair. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, man. Oh. Okay, so so do I get to give you a... Yeah, a, okay. Yes, okay. as your reward, you can you can give me a punishment. But be nice, okay? okay I'm a lady. Okay, okay. And we okay. just met. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, well, what, so what I do? Um, hmm. my punishment is I like to kind of dance around when I sing my first title song, Hoo Hoo Hoo. So uh -huh. I would like you to dance to hoo 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 while I sing it. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, Are you excited? I'm so, so exciting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you know that's You have to teach me the dance though. What's the dance? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. okay. So, our we're allowed to stand, right? Okay. Okay, so I do some. If you watch my makings video, uh, yeah. it's a makings video for hoo hoo hoo. Uh, I do a lot of ridiculous dances. I'm just like, you know, like kind of like. Ooh. Oh, man. But. One dance uh -huh. that I really like from it is a dance I learned when I was doing a musical. Uh -huh. And basically, it's <laughs> it's the most cheesy dance move. Oh, no. You go like this, uh -huh. you put your hands like this, mm -hmm. you cross your legs, mm -hmm. and then you go like this. Mm -hmm. So basically, what you're doing is you're moving across the screen. Oh, no. going like <laughs> okay, give me something more simple. That oh, more simple? Uh -oh. Hold on, pause. Okay, give me something more simple that doesn't require moving too much. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Fine. Then I'll let you get away with something like this. This is one oh, of yeah. my oh, that's fine. gifts. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I would like to see some improv oh, because my... I'm letting you off easy. Okay, remember I gave you those hints, okay? Uh -huh, okay so I mean okay. 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 Oh, okay. okay, wait, bums it. Should I should we just hold these things? Is that okay? Yeah, just just hold it? Okay. Okay. Okay, that's gonna Ready? look weird. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three. Hey, babe, 어디 가? 나랑 커피 한 잔해. 너무 썰렁한가? 가슴이 떨려. 난 count one, two, three, four. Hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, good. Yeah, job. okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, that was a sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. was pretty good. <laughs> okay, thank you. That was, okay. that was better than I thought you oh, would do. Oh, thank uh -huh. you. All right, let's go back down. Oh. <laughs> good job, good okay, job. Thank you. Good, job. good job to you, too. Okay. Uh, I can't believe you got that question right. I thought oh like, the chances he would know is from Busker Busker. I know, right? <laughs> I gave you too many hints, that's why. Oh uh. my goodness, okay. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Dobby, it's been fun and thank you for being with me today. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. So let's go and introduce your music video to the audience. Hello, this is David, and the music video you are about to see is Mong, Zone Out by me, David. 